testimonies, the praises that which are being heaped upon this translation by Anglican Church newspaper. The Church of England newspaper says that this is the finest version which has been produced in the present century. Times Literary Supplement says a completely fresh translation by scholars of the highest eminence. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Longo. And we are Fanny and Jesse. So, right about now, we're going to do another reaction. But before we get into the reaction, because we want to thank everybody who's been subscribing to our channel with the Reader's MVP. And we also want to thank everybody for getting us to 7,500 subscribers. You, the Reader's MVP, MVP too. Our goal is to get 10,000 subscribers. I know we can do that in 10 days or probably two days or something like that and also another thing guys we have another channel that is called funny and jesse 2.0 just feel free to go and subscribe to the channel and um, yeah if you want to see more of our daily vlogs if you want to see our daily live or something like that just go subscribe to the channel and we'd be really really happy uh for you guys to subscribe to our channel anyway so right about now we're gonna react to another video and this one was suggested by a lot of people so right about now we're gonna do uh and they suggested that we should go react to i mean, that embarrassed priest who wanted to challenge him so without any further ado guys let's get it begotten means exactly and precisely what it says begotten fathered conceived of the holy spirit jesus was indeed as man born of the spirit born of the father begotten not made and i'm so glad you made that distinction because it is central to the christian faith and it actually establishes his deity that what is begotten of god is god and what is created of god is not god and that is why the deity of jesus christ is revealed in his birth uh, that just as you so eloquently quoted Billy Graham saying that the Holy Spirit overshadowed the Virgin Mary and and and, and uh, you seem to think that someone was upset by the idea that that the father sired Jesus well I have not upset by that at all it's absolutely scriptural and therefore uh, I want to ask you to confirm as I think you have so eloquently said on on the uh, on the videotape uh, that the distinction between the Islamic religion and the Christian faith, the Christian revelation, is that the Jesus of the Quran is a creature created by Almighty God, whereas the Jesus of the Christian revelation is begotten of God, is an, a manifestation of God in the flesh. And we say, therefore, that Jesus, just as Billy Graham uh, pointed out, uh, it was born as a result of the impregnation by the spirit of the Virgin Mary and as Irene Milan pointed out in our earlier on we have therefore Jesus fully man and fully God now to an unbeliever like yourself we do not expect that to make sense unless the Holy Spirit gives the revelation because no one will say Jesus is Lord but by the Spirit you see this expression we got John 3:16. I take it you have it in your American stand version. That's right. But the RSV, you said you don't use it. It is best known to yourself. But Christian scholars, 32 scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 cooperating denominations. I don't know whether you, since you do not claim to belong to any denomination, they went and produced this book. And the, the testimonies, the praises, that which are being heaped upon this translation by Anglican Church newspaper. The Church of England newspaper says that this is the finest version which has been produced in the present century. Times Literary Supplement says a completely fresh translation by scholars of the highest eminence. Life and Work says the well-loved characteristics of the authorized version combined with the new accuracy of translation. And the Times says the most accurate and close rendering of the original. They are claiming that this translation goes to the most ancient manuscripts. And in John 3.16, they have eliminated the word begotten. Because they say these are defects. 
in your present scriptures, most especially based on Jerome's Latin Vulgate, the King James Version, the authors here, 32 scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 cooperating denominations, they say that the King James Version, used by a billion Christians today in different, different languages, King James Version, says yet the King James Version has grave defects. By the middle of the 19th century, the development of biblical studies and the discovery of many manuscripts more ancient than those upon which the King James Version was based made it manifest that these defects are so many and so serious as to call for revision. So they revised it. That is what the RSV is. 1952. And the word begotten they threw out as a fabrication, interpolation. It was a fabrication. So if this was inspired by God, if God said, I have begotten a son, it would be something. But since it was an interpolation, it's work of people, you know, with vested interest, like you would, you wouldn't use this Bible at all, because it, it won't suit you. Whatever you are out to preach, it hasn't got it. The Ascension is taken out, the verse on the Trinity is taken out, and there still remain those many defects, serious, grave defects, you see, which needs certification. So this word begotten is a defect and they took it out. But Mr. Yes. Mr. Dida, yes, if we were going to base our belief on one word, we would be a lost people. There are many other scriptures which I can quote and which I've quoted. No, no, you quote one at a time. It. If you quote one at a time, like this now. That's right. The word begotten we are discussing, I said, look, this word begotten, you have to tell me now that these 32 scholars of the Christian Bible were not scholars, that they were lay people or barbers, shoemakers, that they went and produced this book. These 50 denominations that you don't belong to that, but those 50 denominations are all heathen or they are unbelievers. They went and produced this book and they made, they sold millions of this and they made a net profit of 11 to 15 million on this book alone. May I quote yes. from this book, yes. The Doctrine of the Begotten Son of God from the Scripture. All right? The uh, word begotten. The word begotten. Yes. Mm -hmm. The RSV, I do think it's an inferior translation, but it's one you put your faith in. I quote. I didn't. This is your church that have produced it. <laughs> <laughs> your point. Yes. All right. For to what angel did God ever say, Thou art my son, today I have begotten thee. Or again, I will be to him a father, he shall be to me a son. And in verse 7, of the angels he says, who makes his angels winds and his servants flames of fire, but of the son he says, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. Now, you where was this quotation taken from? Hebrews chapter 1. Right. Quoting the Psalms. Right. So, we go to the book of Psalms, and we find that this was attributed to David. God Almighty is speaking to David. He said, I will declare a decree unto thee, that thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. God is speaking to David. This day means today I have brought you into being. Begotten. When did God Almighty tell Jesus that I have begotten you today? In the canonical gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Is there a single statement, voice heard from heaven, God saying that I have begotten you today? No. But this is what we read in the book of Psalms and God had spoken those words to David. Now if you take them out from there and you apply them as Paul has done to make God out of Jesus, well that is his business. But what I am saying is this, that Jesus Christ, that is not, it's an amazing thing, that you are not quoting me a single word of Jesus. Whatever you are out to prove, there is not one word I am hearing that Jesus said this or Jesus said that. You are quoting me Paul again and again. You quote, he's quoting scripture from the Old Testament and I said when you look at it on the very face of it, he's not talking about Jesus, he's talking about David. Actually at that point, perhaps we can move on to the next topic and see if we can progress from there. All right. The next one please, Jonathan. <coughs> what do you think?
I really like his style of um, this is not even in Tibet, it's like having a conversation. Mm -hmm. Yep. I really like how he carries himself and how he tries to see how he tries to make people understand from his view and from whatever he knows. He, he seems wise. I, have you seen the way he's talking about these verses? Mm -hmm. Like this has been used in this, this and that. I guess the main message of this video is um, the contradictions or the mistakes in the Bible. Just the wording of something, the terminology of something really changes how people see things. I may say strike and someone else may understand it, so it's always necessary to use words that um, that are not too big, I guess, not too ambiguous. What do you think? What do you have to say? Yeah, like you said, he is kind of, um, he reasons with them, with them, sorry. He's not here to say like, Islam is the best, I don't know what, not and stuff like that. It was just, they're just having a conversation here. Yeah. Coming to the the ones that it's, like they've been used in the Bible, I, for me, I feel, I feel like sometimes English is a cast language or something. Like, it's a language of so many, so many things. Ambiguity, like so many words that means a lot of things. You get it? I think that's where the confusion also comes in. Because you find like in the Bible there's there's some words that are if you look at them in this version, maybe King James version, and then you go to another Bible, it's a different totally different thing. I mean why can't we just have one straight word? And we call this this is the Bible. This is just the word from, this is the exact words from what it was written. Probably if it's the first Bible or whatever the Bible that was it's written like before. It's like Chinese whispers. Mm. What are whispering to your ear and what you told the next person to the last person who says whatever was said. Yeah, it won't it's going yeah. to be different. Yeah, it's going to be totally different. That's what I'm saying. As we live today, we don't know the answers. Nobody has the answers because Everything has been changed, has been changed until 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 now as we live. We are this close to know the truth. We should have had a common language. Yeah. I mean we should have a common we should have a common our own. I was saying like I believe like one day we had one common language that we all understood. And I don't know what happened down the line. I don't know who came and changed everything. Was it for the best or was it for the worst? Because I believe we spoke same language and we used to understand each other. But now you see all these things that is coming up now, it's just to put us aside, confuse, confuse us. us, create yes. a, a lot of animosity, creating a lot of tension. tension, having a lot of enemies around us. That's why we can't even live together anymore. Like we can't, I can't marry this culture because of, of just of some language barrier or maybe because of the tribe or because of the religion or because of education level or because of a rich or poor you get it? i mean all these things why are we even looking into them that's why i'm saying up to now we don't know i mean there is for me what i believe is that the truth that we have right now is this this we we, we don't have the answers we don't have the answers. We might we might be having the answers in these religious books, but we don't know. We still don't know. Like we just we just put our our ourselves based on the leaves. Critical of everything you read. Yeah. There's this, always some truth, even if you don't believe in the Bible. There's always some truth in there. Yeah, of course, even of course. Even you don't believe in the Quran, there's something you can pick from there. Of course, of course. I'm. I'm yeah, even mm -hmm. like the way you, you said, like the Chinese, everything. exactly. Don't pick everything. Like just the way you said, like the Chinese whisper. The last person will give a different message, but you have to pick something from that. There's something that will lead you to the first message. You get it. So even in the in this book that we're reading today, there's always but unless someone silly changed everything. Yeah, funny. yeah. But unless somebody out there just came and flipped everything upside down, it might be possible. 
it might be true that That's everything that everything was flipped maybe the bible was flipped maybe your quran was flipped maybe all these religious books were flipped to confuse us you never know i'm just saying but what i'm saying is despite all that let's come up with a common understanding what is our common understanding god and that's it okay let's stick to that and um i like how he he looks and i point out his views about the what like the the the, the christianity? yeah christianity he doesn't really say i mean uh, bad things about Christianity or maybe try to believe in Christianity or anything like that anyway guys I mean that's how I think about the whole thing anyway guys if you feel like your reaction to this video in a better way just give us a thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction and what you feel about Amelie Dad on this uh, video right here just let us in the comment section below what do you think what do you think what do you think I mean um, I think language is something that really changed everything that's what I feel. Just let us know in the comment section. What do you think? I mean, do you feel like uh, if we had spoken one language, we had we, we could have had one understanding, and it, uh, it, could, it could be much better compared to what we have today. We have different type of languages that is keeping us, um, it's creating a lot of tension out there, it's creating a lot of uh, enemy uh, enemies and stuff like that. Just let us know in the comment section. What do you think? I mean. We'd like to hear what your view is, we'd like to hear your opinion and whatnot. Anyway guys, and the most important thing is don't forget to subscribe to our channel, then we keep us subscribing, then we give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better, better content. And last but not the least, we're going to see you in the next video, and peace out. <music>